What is up, everyone? This is your Yankee Messiah here. So, um, obviously, we all know what date it is today, and it is September 11th, uh, 20 years ago, a horrific terrorist attack happened in our country, and this video is for everyone uh, that is truly affected by it. Uh, my condolences, my thoughts, and my prayers are with everyone. Um, whether you lost a family member, whether you were a first responder, lost a first responder, you you all know. Um, we always talk about where we were on that day. I was a senior in high school, and you know, my first week of being a senior. Uh, that was the main headline story, and it's a difference 20 years makes because 20 years ago, we were united. You know, we got knocked down, but we got back up, and that's what a tragedy did. You know, we were united against a foreign enemy, but 20 years later, you know, we're seeing a divide in this country between Republicans, Democrats, Independents, and um, I do apologize if you do hear the phone, and that's something that... I want to see in this country, again, us being united and, you know, forget about the political differences. Uh, let me shut this off. But uh, anyways, um, I want to talk about the week one matchup between the uh, Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. Of course, the game is going to be on Sunday, 425 on CBS. And this is one of the most important games when it comes to the AFC East. And when you talk about the AFC East, this is going to be a three-team race between the Buffalo Bills, New England Patriots, and the Miami Dolphins. And we could have tiebreaker implications once we get into the end of the NFL season. And also for the New England Patriots, this is going to be the debut of Mac Jones. Now... Mac Jones is going to make his first career start in this game. And for the first time since 1993, when Drew Bledsoe uh, was a rookie quarterback, uh, you have another rookie quarterback um, making his debut. And the Miami Dolphins, of course, you know, they got questions because, you know, Tua is their quarterback, or as we like to say in the New England Patriots universe, Tua turned the ball over. So there's plenty of storylines to this game. And I think this is going to be an exciting game. Uh, regardless of what happens, win, lose, or draw. So um, New England is a three-point favorite in this game. And I'll tell you right now, how can the Miami Dolphins win this game? Uh, Miami Dolphins, the way they can win this game is with their defense, and their defense last season was underrated. There's no question about it, and they've gotten better. Uh, they've added uh, Jalen Phillips, uh, Javon uh, Holland. I think they're going to make that defense pretty good in Miami. Uh, you got Byron Jones and Xavier Howard. I know there's a lot of talk about Xavier Howard, how... He started being a prima donna uh, before the season even began, even during training camp. But when you look at their cornerbacks, they got one of the best man coverage duos in the NFL. And their rotation of pass rushers basically allows the Dolphins to be a decent team. And they're pressuring opposing passes. And, you know, they're going after uh, a rookie quarterback in uh, Mac Jones, like I said. So... I think they're going to get off to a hot start against a rookie quarterback. And to make things great for the Miami defense, uh, this will be a one-dimensional game for them. Uh, when you look at New England, you look at the weapons that New England has with the wide receiving. You got Nelson Aguilar. You got Kendrick Bourne. You got Jacoby Myers. I'll admit this as a Patriots fan. That's one of the worst pass-catching groups right now in the NFL. And I know people say, oh, you got uh, you got Smith and Hunter Henry over there as tight ends. This is what the Patriots are going to be doing in this game. They're going to be running the ball a lot. And when you run the ball a lot, that's going to make the defense tired. And they're going to use their uh, wide receiver weapons. So... 
that's what Miami's going to do. They're going to counter the Patriots with extra defenders near the line of scrimmage. They're going to get into a variety of run blitzes. So that's how Miami could win this game. How can the Patriots win this game? Look at the Patriots too. This similar than the Miami Dolphins. This time around, it's coming in offense. Now, Miami's wild card is on the offensive side of the ball. And that's why I always say to or turn the ball over. Over to attack the over. Now, New England is more consistent. New England's offensive line, I think to me, is going to be the dominant force in this game. In both the running game and the passing game. Bill Belichick, um, that coaching staff, they're going to keep Mac Jones away from making mistakes in the game. And I think the Patriots are going to be decent on offense at the very least. Um, Dolphins, I really don't think they're going to be decent on the offensive side of the ball. So, um, And also the Patriots' defense. I'm actually looking forward um, to see what the the defense does. And I'll, I'll talk about that defense right now because Brian Flores, um, I know he's all in on tagly over or turn the ball over. Oh, um, again, apologize uh, if you do hear that phone ring. But Brian Flores, now, do you really trust Tua as your quarterback, your franchise quarterback, going up against an underrated New England defense. By the way, this core is going to be back after, you know, a lot of those players, they took the year off because of COVID-19 and all of that kind of stuff. But the Patriots, they do have pass rushers. That's going to cause trouble uh, for that below average offensive line, especially with Tagley over. Um, uh, I know they don't have Steph Stephon Gilmore, but New England has a fantastic secondary. And I think you're going to have more turnovers in this game. And I expect that from Miami. So who do I think is going to win this game? This is a tough game. It, it really is because you got a second-year quarterback in Tagliova. And you got a first-year quarterback in Mac Jones. Uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Mac Jones. Don't get me wrong. Because Mac Jones, you know, people think he's going to be the hair apparent to Tom Brady. But I think New England's going to pull this game. Uh, Gillette Stadium has always been a nightmare for the Miami Dolphins. Miami has... So many unsolved problems, especially on the offensive side of the ball. But I understand Matt Jones. He, he's not going to put on a show. I, I don't think he's going to have this big game. I think he's going to have a decent game. But New England's going to win, I would say, by a touchdown. I'm going to go 20-13, to the, the Patriots. That's what I'm going with. 20 to 13. That's going to be my final score. And um, I'll talk about the game Sunday after the game is done. I'll probably do another live YouTube video or YouTube video like this. So let me all know what you think in the comment section down below. Who do you got winning this game? I'm out. Peace.